we must invest in both battery electric vehicles and fuel cell electric vehicles. All right, now at four, the future of travel is here. The state announcing all new cars, trucks, and SUVs will be required to run on electricity or hydrogen by 2035. That's right. It's a historic move that once again puts California ahead of the curve on efforts to fight climate change. It would put an eventual end to gasoline-powered vehicles in the state. Now, the move could reshape the car marketplace by speeding up the transition to electric, you would not have to give up your gas-powered vehicle, though. The policy also doesn't fully ban the sale of used gas cars in 2035. It would allow 20% of all vehicle sales to be plug-in hybrids, which can run on batteries and on gasoline. The hope is for the state to cut emissions from cars in half by the year 2040. But the move is about much more than just electric cars. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Michelle Gilly has been digging deeper into what it would take to get this done. Mm -hmm. Michelle. You guys, we went to UCI where scientists have been studying zero emission vehicles for years and they bring up some key points like this. The ability of the power grid, the current grid to handle all of these new electric vehicles being charged all at the same time and the need for an investment in workplace charging stations to take stress off that power grid. Drivers being able to charge during the day instead of at night when everyone is at home. It was busy midday at this Tesla supercharging station in Irvine. Michael Hahn says later in the day, there is a line to plug in. I think the vision is we'll have less gas stations and more supercharger stations, and hopefully the grid and all the infrastructure will pick up for that. UC Irvine has done a lot of research on how to make all cars zero emission, which will be the law for new vehicles in California beginning in 2035. The grid does not currently have the capability to add millions of battery electric or even fuel cell electric vehicles today. So we have some time to make reasonable investments in the grid to enable this to actually happen and to happen well. This is just what Southern California Edison says it's doing. The utility company provides power for nearly 14 million Southland customers. We have a long term process in place to make sure that we're making smart investments in the grid today so that we'll have the energy that we need five to 10 years down the road. Uh, in fact, Southern California Edison is investing over $5 billion in modernizing the grid so that we can handle the additional needs of our customers in the future, including electric cars. It operates off of hydrogen, so the only emissions are water. In order for California's changeover to be successful, UC Irvine engineering professor Jack Brower says we have to think about more than battery electric cars. That if we try to move in this direction and only use battery electric vehicles, we will fail. The grid cannot charge every single transportation application. <laughs> we must invest in both battery electric vehicles and fuel cell electric vehicles. Now, the professor went on to say if half of those drivers in 2035 have hydrogen electric vehicles, then that'll take stress off of the power grid. Those people can fill up their hydrogen cars at hydrogen stations, which are much like gas stations that no doubt will become more available in the coming years throughout the state of California. That's the latest live here in Irvine. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. Michelle, thank you.